Welcome back to Steampunk Reviews. As promised today, I'm reviewing Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, a maker of perfume oils with various peculiar, mystical, or gothic themes. Now, this is bound to prove a problem in the future, so let's address it now. By all accounts, proper steampunk is not related to the goth subculture. Unfortunately, even as that is technically true, there's a lot of stylistic layover in some areas because of the fact that we steampunks love our Victoriana, as do some goths. Thus it is that there are a number of shops and websites that I'll be reviewing which, while they have a lot of Victorian clothing, technically cater to the much larger goth the community. This cannot be helped. Now, I'm about as gothic as a rainbow-strewn unicorn, but the fact remains that if I want to get a Victorian skirt complete with bustle, I will most likely turn to goth websites once I've exhausted more steampunk, steampunk venues, such as eBay. Hence, when I start reviewing stores like Alchemy Gothic, I do not want belligerent gearheads clogging up the comments, outraged that I have mistaken goths for steampunks. I am well aware of the difference, dimwits, but when the chips are down and I want a pair of Victorian granny boots, I'll shop wherever I must to get them. Now back on topic. Black Phoenix's lovely website is divided into a number of separate themed sections, including a steampunk area, in which the perfumes are arranged categorically and then alphabetically. Each perfume has a title and a description of some kind, which usually explains the origin of the perfume's name and the content scent of the perfume. As per example, here's the description of my favorite scent. Goblin. Dab a bit behind each ear and you'll be instantly inspired to alter street signs, shake fruit from your neighbor's trees, and hide your roommate's car keys. Black coconut, gnarly patchouli, and sweet benzoin. Of course, we do run into a problem here, namely that you have to guess how the perfume smells. Your first order will be a shot in the dark no matter how you cut it, even if you have some understanding of perfumes, as I do. I've purchased five perfumes from them, and I have to be honest when I say that the fifth, Jack, smells less like the autumnal pumpkin and clove they build it as, and more like a scented candle you'd find in one of those corny faux Americana shops. And not all the descriptions are very understandable, either. Their perfume Black Opal, for instance, is described as a play of geological darkness and jagged brilliance, soft and luminescent with flashes of black fire, which doesn't describe the scent at bloody all, despite the perfume being absolutely ethereal and wonderful. And the scent Hymn to Proserpine features the entire poem of that name, but lacks an explanation of what the perfume consists of. It's these little confusions that can lead to trouble when you make your first purchase. But after that, things do get easier. For each perfume you order, you receive two small perfume vials, Imp's Ears in Black Phoenix nomenclature, which can tell you which scent you want to lay hold of next. The perfumes also aren't very expensive. Most are about $15, quite a bargain in comparison to most other good perfumes which cost an arm, a leg, and part of your soul. All this said, though, there are two other issues that need addressing. One is the fact that these perfumes are made of oils like patchouli and sandalwood, natural substances that, when they interact with the oils on a person's skin, can produce varied odors. Thus it is that the perfume that smells awful on you may smell great on your friend, and what smells bad on both of you may smell great when applied under your nose to battle the smell of leftovers decomposing in your fridge, and there's not really any way to guarantee the outcome. The most damning issue with Black Phoenix is how long it takes to get your stuff. I don't know what exactly accounts for it, but it can take for three weeks for an order to ship. The website also states that they only ship once or twice a week, and my immediate response to that is a big fat WTF with the W standing for why rather than what. The only way that this whole issue makes sense is one of three ways. A. Black Phoenix is direly understaffed and getting way too many orders, thus causing the system to back up. In that case, they should have enough money by this point to hire an extra pair of hands and solve the problem. B. Black Phoenix wants to ship the orders out in large groups, thus avoiding lots of small shipping payments in favor of one big one. In that case, I do have to point out that it's not exactly nice to us customers and as such may deter us from buying again. Or C. All of the above. Now, I'm sure that some might explain this with saying that the people of Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab are very devoted to making sure that everything gets ju done just right, but here are the facts. It should not take three weeks to get a single vial of perfume delivered to me unless the perfume is being expressly blended for me at my specific specifications by the best perfume-making elves in all of Middle Earth. It just shouldn't. All this said, however, I still do have to recommend the shop because the products are unspeakably wonderful, despite the criminally long wait. Scents I recommend include the aforementioned Goblin, which, as described by my boyfriend, smells like an incense shop at the Renaissance Festival, Medea, which is a dark floral scent with herbal undertones, and Black Opal, which is a perfume so sublime and wondrous in its nature that no specific notes can be picked out, but I will say that every person I have asked to smell it and give me their opinion on it has been, have been ecstatic about it. That's all for now. Tune in next Tuesday when I do a double Jeopardy show and review two purveyors of clothing, Drack in a Box and the Gallery Serpentine.